Well, I'm not very surprised about what I found out. I received an email from a very close friend of mine, someone that I knew many years ago when I was a young woman and in the military, serving my country, um, sent me an email. And she told me that apparently her family member, her daughter, uh, had ordered vitamins for her children. And she received an email with the, the order uh, when it came back, I guess. And what it is, is apparently now, and I did warn about this in a previous video, that supplements are getting very, very expensive. And the reason they're getting expense is, is expensive and they're going to get even worse is because I warned that the government is going to try to regulate them. Now the government is saying, oh, we're only going to regulate them so we can protect the consumer from getting products that are not truly the products that they thought they were getting, right? So they're, they're kind of putting it out there that they're protecting us as a consumer to make sure that we're getting what it is that we're paying for, okay? Well, well, no, no, no. What they're doing is they're trying to tax the hell out of it. They're causing um, the people who are selling the products that we're, they're, we're purchasing from, you know, the small holistic stores and the small health food stores, they're wanting us to have to get those supplements from the big business, the big pharma, the companies that are being fed into by big pharma, okay? Now, I don't know about you, but I get a potassium supplement, and it's 800 milligrams, and I can't purchase it right off the shelf because if you take too much potassium you can literally you can kill yourself you can hurt yourself right so but any of us who are taking potassium we're not stupid we're not freaking idiots okay you accommodate that into your life when you're taking supplements so you look to see and we can get you can take an awful lot of potassium before you're at that danger point okay so just be aware of that but you have to be very, very vigilant. You have to make sure that you're taking the right amount and you're not overdoing it. It's like magnesium. If you take a supplement of magnesium, usually they sell it 500 milligrams. If you take too much magnesium, it will give you loose stools. You can dehydrate. You can literally, um, you know, have problems with your bowels and that can dehydrate you. And once again, if you're dehydrated, you can die from lack of hydration. So they're kind of putting all these warning things. Oh, we're going to protect you. We're going to make sure that doesn't happen. So we're going to put a regulatory fee on there. Now, if somebody's selling you that product, they have to tell you exactly what's in that product. And we're, uh, the FDA, we are going to make sure that they do exactly what they say that they're going to do. Okay, that they're giving you the true ingredients. Okay, so that's that's great. That's what that's wonderful. But why do you have to make it so expensive that these smaller companies can't afford to purchase those ingredients? Okay, and here's another thing. She did say that she received an email from wherever it was that she ordered the vitamins from uh, for her children that there is a bill that's been introduced into Parliament that is going to make sure that holistic and supplementation is um, regulated. They are going to be in control of what you get when you get it and how much you get. And they're going to be in control of how much you pay for that product, okay? And where do you think the kickbacks are going to go? The kickbacks are going to go right down the road to the big pharma. And it's going to bleed down into them, okay? And that's the type of government that we have in power. Um, you know, they, they like to, well... <laughs> We had one politician say that he admires um, China. He admires the fact that they control their people, okay? They control everything that comes in and goes out, okay? <laughs> Communists, right? The one particular politician, and I won't name names, but he admired um, the Chinese regime for the fact that they kept control of their people. Yeah, really. Yeah, really. And and at the same time, like that's kind of being two-faced, right? That's talking out of the, the other side of your mouth, isn't it? It's because on one hand, he's agreeing with the communist regime and he's, you know, he's admiring the fact that they control their people, 
right? They control. There's no riots and shit like that taking place in China because they control it and they make sure that it doesn't happen. And then on the other side of his mouth, he's saying, oh, oh, we have, this is a free country. We're going to allow, we're going to look after the rights of all those people who are, you know, struggling struggling with their freedoms in Canada. We're going to protect them. And we're going to stand up for their freedoms. Yeah, you're going to stand up for their freedoms in one way, and then you're going to take those freedoms away in another. Like, is that not talking out of both sides of your mouth? Like, make up your mind. What are you for and what are you against? 